Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Destructible Column. Simple asset, and let's take a look. So we get a demo scene, we actually get two demo scenes in this one. You can see them right here, um, we'll get around to both of them actually. This is the first one, and we have to remember that something like this isn't necessarily um, something you'd see in every single game. So the quality of this is not too bad. Um, We'll get around to price. I mean, at the moment it is free. Uh, so if it is free, I'd say this is pretty decent quality for being free. Uh, we can see here we get a couple of different types of columns. So quantity wise, we get quite a bit here. So you can see the prefabs, uh, the dynamic version of it. Obviously, this is all this here, uh, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, then obviously we've got the static ones. Static to mean stay still, as it were. Uh, we do have an extra couple of scripts here. Um, so I guess they could be counted as extras in that sense because um, they're not really what you would expect. It just describes itself as a destructible column. Um, but yeah, folders, nice and neat. And if we press play, we should be able to see uh, these ones. They kind of fall down, uh, but that's to be expected. So destructible. Obviously with destructible, we would expect it to kind of just destruct, as it were, fall apart. So luckily this particular asset is set up with one of those scripts where we can just press the space bar and it will do that. And that's kind of useful. It's interesting simply because a lot of people always ask, well, I have this, let's say, well, column in this case, or, you know, I've got this crate. I want it to kind of fall apart when I shoot it or something. How do I do it? Well, this is how you would do it. So this asset in itself is actually quite useful for learning how uh, the process works to destruct something. Um, it's quite nice. So it's worthwhile, I think, at, at that level anyway. Uh, I mean, obviously, again, the quality of it all depends on how you want it to look. I always like working with some post-processing to see how things look, um, just, just generally to get a, a feel of everything around. But yeah. So we can see, imagine if that was shot with, let's say, a shotgun or something, and it goes bang on there, and that all falls apart. Destruct destructible. So it's good for learning that sense. So how versatile is it? Well, in all honesty, I don't think it matters too much uh, about the versatility and customization of this asset. I'll explain why towards the end, but I guess you could customize it if you wanted to. It's, it's entirely up to you. Uh, so I want to go to the second scene, which is this one. Uh, yeah, let's save that. And all this one is, is just another version of simply the last scene, except this one has a little bit of animation, i.e. imagine if this was a cannonball going to hit the column. Now I find this useful. So you can see how that works with the column being destructible. I kind of like that, so it works quite nicely. Obviously, it's going to have its uses in different types of games. If you're creating, you know, like a maybe a survival horror type game, and you want a little scene where, you know, we'll use Resident Evil 3 as a good example. Let's say you've got a character like Nemesis, fires a rocket, hits a column, boom, you know, falls apart. That'd make a really good cutscene. Um, so, like I say, the price of it is free, uh, which is good. Always like to see uh, free assets. Uh, they do change all the time, so just keep that in mind. You know, it might be a couple of books, it might still be free when you get around to um, taking a look at the asset. Size is just under 11 meg, which is fairly decent. That's not too bad. So, as you guys know, <clears throat> I don't rate assets. Well, you should know that by now. I've reviewed lots of things. Uh, I either recommend them or I don't. So this one is a tricky one. I would recommend this if you want to learn a little bit more about how to make objects destructible. However, I think that is the only real purpose that you could take from this. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it for various different reasons unless you want something that looks just like this column in your game. But like I say, I think it's a really good asset to learn how to make things destructible in your game. So if you're looking to learn a little bit more about the mechanics of how to do that, then you should get this asset, play with it, learn, take a look through the scripts, and you'll be able to do a couple of different things there. It's actually really interesting. So yes, I would recommend it in that sense, but I wouldn't recommend it as a final product in a game. It's more of a learning asset, I think. So as you guys know, 
I have a lot of tutorials. I have a lot of reviews on my channel. So don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well. And if you've used this asset, let me know what you think of it. And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, come on guys, you know, I love to see these assets and I would love to basically review them in one of these little videos. So link me to it below. Finally, thank you very much for watching guys.